In this video, I'll show you how to set up your own dedicated Valheim server. First, with self-hosting on your PC and then with a hosting provider. So your world stays online even when you're offline. First, you need to download the Valheim dedicated server from Steam. Open your Steam library, click the drop down in the top left, check the tools box, scroll to the Valheim dedicated server and hit install. This grabs the official server software, which is about one gig, so give it a minute. Just a side note, you don't need the full Valheim game installed to actually run the server. Next, to find your server folder, you need to right click Valheim dedicated server in Steam, go to properties, installed files, and then click on browse. This opens the install directory. You can configure the server by editing the start underscore headless underscore server dot bat file. Right click and edit it with notepad. Look for the line that starts with Valheim underscore server followed by a bunch of other arguments. Some key entries to take note of are hyphen name that sets your server's name, hyphen world to create or load a world. You need to play in game first to generate terrain if needed, hyphen password for protection, hyphen port which is by default 2456 but they can either be 2456 or 2457. Add crossplay for Xbox or Game Pass support. No port forwarding needed for this one. When you're done, save and close the file. Now, make a copy of start underscore headless underscore server dot bat. The reason we are doing this is because Steam updates reset the original, so your custom settings stay safe in the copy. To have people connect directly to your server's router, you would need to set up port forwarding, but we will cover that in a different video as this can become quite complicated. If you've enjoyed the video so far and found it easy to follow or enjoy the content, why not hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with future tutorials and ranking videos. Let's take a look at a few extra configs in the bat file. Set hyphen public to 1 to have your server show up in the server list or set it to 0 to have people connect via IP or LAN. You can change where you save the server with hyphen save dir. The default path is inside the app data folder under local low forward slash iron gate forward slash valheim backups can be managed with the following settings let's break these down hyphen backup short is a short-term backup that valheim makes and the interval is defined in seconds by the number next to it so hyphen backup short 7200 is a short-term backup file created every two hours Hyphen backup long is a long term backup that Valheim makes and the interval is also defined in seconds. So, hyphen backup long 43200 would be a long term backup every 12 hours. Hyphen backups is the amount of each type of backup the server makes. So in this case, it would be 4 of each type of backup. Hyphen backups 4, hyphen backups short 7200 and hyphen backup long 43200 is a good default for covering a full day of Valheim and perfect for most small servers. Some of the world tweaks that you can make are hyphen preset, which loads a predefined set of world modifiers like enemy strength, resource rates, raid frequency, and death penalties. You can find different presets on the official Valheim website. You can use hyphen modifier after the presets tweak to customize your world even further. For example, hyphen modifier raids customizes how base raids behave. Once again, you can find different modifiers with their settings on Valheim's official site. A life saving and a game saving tip for you, set hyphen save interval to 1800 to determine how often the world will save in seconds. It's time to launch your server. Double click your bat file and a console should open. Watch for game server connected and there you have it, the server is live. Friends can join via the server browser if you've set public to one, the server's IP port, or a join code which you can find in the pause menu in game. If anyone is connecting locally, use localhost colon 2456. If you want to connect on a crossplay server, you need a public IP or join code. Never share your IP with someone you don't trust as this could cause DDoS attacks. If all these steps and managing a server yourself sounds too difficult or you just want to play the game without having to go through the hassles of setting all this up, then I have good news for you. With Pine Hosting, you can get a Valheim server up and running in minutes. The price might be a little steep for some, but if you and all your friends who are joining on this adventure split the cost, then it's a steal for all the added benefits that Pine Hosting offers. With Pine, you get 99.99% uptime on your server, full DDoS protection, and 24-7 support from developers and pros to get your issues resolved in minutes. And I've got a special offer for all my viewers. You can get 30% off your first month with Pine if you click on the link in the bio and use the code ATH. Let me know in the comment section if this tutorial helped you and for what game you would like to see a tutorial next. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and I'll see you in the next one.